So far so good. I am walking my dog down these stairs. It is a very, very tight beam as it is a thrower. And it's interesting that it's kind of like the LE, what, is, what are those new lights that have the laser phosphor that reflects? It's kind of similar to that beam it looks like. I don't own one of those, but it's just the spotlight. It's just the center, basically. The outer rim is non-existent. And what mode are we on here? Let's go ahead and bump it up a little bit. So that was on medium, I think. Now this should be high. It'll skip turbo and skip moonlight. Oh, no. It was on low, medium, now high. Okay. And if I press and hold again, then it will skip turbo and firefly and go back to low, medium, high, low, medium, high. You can see it. When you get higher up, you can kind of see it does have a little bit of an outer ring. Let's see the turbo. There you go. It does kind of see it. You can see it on the bush back here. It does have a little bit of an outer reflective ring but it's very, very subtle, which I really like because if you want to be stealthy and you're walking around, holy shit, if you're walking around um, the neighborhood, like I have to go through a couple houses to get back here, then it goes to trails. Basically, with this, just the spotlight, just the hot spot, basically, um, it's not, doing a wide beam and getting in the people's windows and houses and all that it's very stealthy you can uh, like there's a little trail behind the house that goes in between other houses to get back here and with this light it's literally just lighting up the trail just how you see now um, also that's one thing I noticed too is when it was on turbo and if you press and hold it will bounce back to high and then uh, if you keep holding or if you press and hold again, it will obviously skip turbo, skip that firefly, and go back to low, medium, high, low. But then I think if you go from like lower medium to turbo, and then if you, if you click, double click again, yeah, it'll go back to where you had it on before, which is, I had it on low. So, pretty cool light. Uh, some of these trees are pretty far out. So it's low, medium, high. So let's see if we can kind of light some stuff up. Um, double click for turbo. Turbo really is big noticeable difference. You can see in this beam here, it's just amazing. I mean, if you're, it seriously lights some ish up, if you know what I mean. And does a very good job keeping it nice and tight at a moderate distance. So that's very cool. I did bring another light out here just for a com comparison. It's not a thrower like this, but it is a popular light. You might own it. It's a Olight Warrior Mini 2. So I'm gonna hold the through night in my mouth, which actually if it is very easy to hold it and operate in your mouth. Not operate, but hold in your mouth while it's on. It's pretty light, not too much weight to it. And I'm gonna I'm gonna hold my mouth and I'm gonna take the uh, the Olight out and I'll turn that on and turn this off and compare it. Okay, then I'm going to turn off one last look at the thrower. Let's turn that off. So, yeah, the Olight is on turbo right now. Um, yeah, big, big difference. Just kind of a, a moderately wide beam, not super wide, but um, obviously you can't really even see the beam in the mist. Kind of can a little bit right here, I guess. But yeah, it definitely does more of a triangle than like a cylinder. It does more of a cone than a cylinder. So uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Thanks.